Welcome back, guys. All right, guys, I'm just going to continue on with this lesson over here for part two of this one here. Um, example four, we have y equals four sine of four x minus pi over eight minus two. So we're going to follow the same steps that we did in example three. So we're going to start with this minus two, and we are going to draw the new midline going across here. So the, mid, the midline is two. Now this four is the amplitude. So that means it's going to be going four up from my midline, which is up here, and then four down, which is down here. Okay. Now this is a sine graph. Now what we have to remember for sine graphs is sine graphs start on the midline on the y-axis normally. Okay, so it's gonna be the midline, here's the midline on the y-axis over here, okay? But if we're shifting the graph, given a horizontal phase shift, we're gonna be on the midline shifted pi over eight to the right. So pi over eight to the right, so here's pi over four, pi over eight would be here, okay? So here's our point number one, okay? Now our period is gonna be two pi over four, which is pi over two. So pi over two would be from, from, from here to here. So we're gonna go from here to here, and there's gonna be point number two. Point number three is halfway in between, like this. Point number four is gonna be halfway between here, up on the max, and point number five is going to be down on the min. Okay, so guys, I'm following the same pattern that we did in on this slide here. We're starting here, one, then going the period to point number two, split the difference for point number three, split the distance and up to the max for point number four, split the distance down to the min for point number five. Okay, following this, we're going to have our next max is happening here, here, and we're just going to follow this pattern going all the way through until we've filled out the rest of this graph. Guys, my drawings are really tough to kind of graph on these tablets over here, but it's kind of the best I can do right now. Sound good? So hope this makes sense on how we graph something like this. All right. The domain and range of the graph is uh, from negative infinity to infinity. For the domain, the range is negative 5, 11. Determine the values of A and D. Okay. So I'm going to draw a graph for the first one over here. And I'm going to show you how we're actually going to, we're going to kind of develop two equations that's going to be able to give us these two values every time. If this is my graph. That means 11 is my max. And then y equals negative 5 is my min. Okay. So how we're going to figure out that the d value is going to be the midline here. Okay, now hopefully what you see is that this midline is halfway in between negative 5 and 11. So one way we can figure out, like if you have two numbers, to figure out what number is directly in between them is the same as taking the average. So if I go like negative 5 plus 11 and divide this by 2, negative 5 plus 11 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. That means this guy over here is y equals 3. So for d, to figure out d value, the formula that we use is max plus min over 2. So this is the maximum value, the min value, which is going to be taken by the values of our range here. And we're going to divide it by 2. Okay. Now, the way we're going to figure out um, what the amplitude is, don't, hopefully you can see the amplitude is going to be 8. From 3 to 11 is 8, and the same thing from 3 to negative 5 is 8 as well. Okay. Now, the way we can do this for the formula is like, well, if I look at how far is it from 11 
and negative 5. Well, if I want to figure out the distance from 11 to negative 5, it's the same as going 11 minus negative 5, and that number is 16. Okay, But what we're doing here, that's 16 from the top to the bottom. I want to take that by half because it's, it's, for, it's only from the midline to the top, the midline to the bottom. So I'm going to be able to divide this by 2, which is 8. The formula for our A is max minus min over 2. Okay. Now these guys are not going to be given to you on your formula sheet, but they're pretty easy to memorize, hopefully. The way that I memorize it is that the formulas are the same, but D is max plus min because D is the bigger letter. Okay, so if you think of the alphabet, D is a bigger letter than A or the, the higher letter, I guess. And so the first one's going to be the minus, the bigger one's going to be the plus over here. Example six, determine the equation of each trig graph, right, as a sine equation and as a cosine equation. Okay, I'm actually going to do the cosine equation first. Now, what we mean by this is we want to figure out the A, the B, the C, and the D values. Okay. Now, we just developed two equations for A and D. Okay. So A was max minus min over 2. Which is... 3 minus negative 1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which is 2. The d value is max plus min over 2, which is 3 plus negative 1 over 2. 3 plus negative 1 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so if you look at this, y equals 1 here is our midline, which is the same as our d value that we just calculated. Okay, We know that our amplitude is 2. And you can see from so the distance from here to here is 2. Okay, All right, now we need to figure out what is going to be our b value and our c value. The b value is equal to 2 pi over our period. Now if we look from here to here, I can go for the min point to the min point here. I hope we can all agree that the period, the length of one full cycle, is 2 pi over 3. So this is going to be 2 pi over 2 pi over 3. Now 2 pi is the same thing as 2 pi over 1. I'm going to multiply by the circle. The 2 pi's cancel out, and that means my b value is 3. Okay. All right, next, last, my, my C value. Now, C value is a little bit trickier here. It's probably the hardest one of these four letters to be able to calculate. But for a cosine graph, this point is normally right here on the y-axis. So if it's normally here, we want to calculate... this distance from here to here. Now, what is this distance? Well, this is pi over 3 based off this number. So we know that the c value is pi over 3. Guys, I expect this to be the hardest part of this type over here. I'm going to put in brackets for cosine. Okay. All right, so what's our equation going to be? We have y equals 2 cos. Our b value is 3. Our c value is pi over 3. Our d value is 1. Okay, so this is where this would be our equation for cosine. Now, I just want to come back and. Yeah, so cosine graph. So this is back in example 2 where we've got to graph our first cosine graph. We know that cosine starts at the top over here. When we look at the sine graph, the sine graph actually starts on the midline. So the midline is this guy. It starts on the midline, crossing the y-axis on the midline going up. Okay, so that's going to be point 0.1 for a cosine graph. When we look at this one, 
what's going to be my C value for a sine graph? So if you look at the midline going up, this is the point where a sine graph normally would start. So I'm saying this point is normally right here, but it's been translated like this. Okay, so for here, I'm going to put pi over 6 for sine. So what's my sine equation look like? Everything's the same, except cos becomes a sine, but my c value is now going to be a pi over 6 instead of a pi over 3, okay? So this equation and this equation, they both represent this graph over here, okay? So you may give questions where half the test question is going to be, we're going to give you a graph like this and then ask you to be able to figure out, well, what's a cosine equation? Or we might ask you, what is the sine equation for this guy as well, okay? Here's B. Same thing, but now we're in degrees instead of radians, but we're going to follow the same process, okay? So let's figure out Y equals A cos of B, X minus C plus D. A is max minus min over 2. So the max is 1. This is negative 7. We get 1 minus negative 7 over 2. This is 8 over 2, which is 4. My d value is 1 plus negative 7 over 2. Is negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. Okay. Negative 3 is here. And hopefully we all agree that this is going to be the midline of this graph. Okay. The distance from here to here is 4. One, two, three, four, and that's my amplitude we've calculated so far. Let's calculate the B value next. Okay, trickier over here, but I'm going to use this point to this point over here. Okay, um, now what is this point over here? Okay, it's kind of tough to see based off these guys here, but this is 150, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. These guys are going up by 30 every time. So that means this guy is 60. And this point is 180, 210, 240. So that means from here to here is 180 degrees. So our B value is going to be 360 over 180, which is 2. So since we're in degrees, we need to use a 360, not a 2 pi for this question. Okay. Now for my cosine equation, this point is normally here okay now it's kind of hard what is this point here 30 60 90 this is going to be 105 because if we're going up by 30 half of that is 15 so 30 60 90 plus 15 is 105 that means c is 105 for cosine so our equation is y equals 4 cos of 2 x minus 105 plus 3. If I'm doing it for a sine graph, this point is normally here. So we need to calculate this phase shift, which is going to be 60. So this is going to be 60 for sine. So we get same thing, except it's going to be y equals 4. This again y equals 4 sine 2 x minus 60 plus 3. Okay. Um, same ideas for these guys over here. Okay. Determine the equation of each trig graph, write as a sine function and as a um, cosine function. Guys, I'm just going to figure out the sine equation. Let's just do the cosine equation for this one here. Okay, so A. Max minus min over 2. Negative 3 minus negative 7 over 2. Negative 3 minus negative 7 is 4 over 2, which is... D is max plus min over 2. Negative 3 plus negative 7 over 2 is negative 
five v value. What we need to figure out is well, what's this value here going to be? Okay. Well, if I know that from here to here, I'm going to say from here to here, fifty-five one forty-five. That means this must be ninety. One forty-five minus fifty-five is is ninety. So that means from here to here would be 180, okay? That means B is 360 over 180, which is two. My C, this point is normally here, okay? So if our C equals 55, we got Y equals two, cos of two, X minus 55, minus 5.